hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix microsoft store error code that is 0x8013105 so if you are receiving this error code while downloading or installing any application or games from microsoft store then please follow the steps shown in this video now the first step is to sign out and sign in again on microsoft store so launch microsoft store on the top right here you can see a profile icon click on it then select your account then click on sign out and then again click on the profile icon then click on sign in select your account click on continue and then you have to enter your pin or password over here so enter the pin or password over here and then once you're logged in you can go ahead and try to use microsoft store once again also make sure date and time is correct on your computer so on the bottom right here you can see the date and time make a right click on the date and time and then click on adjust date and time and make sure set time automatically and set time zone automatically is on over here and make sure the date and time is correct over here the next step is to run windows store troubleshooter for this go to the start menu then click on settings go to update and security then click on troubleshoot click on additional troubleshooter scroll down here at the end here you can see windows store apps click on run the troubleshooter and once the troubleshoot is complete you can go ahead and try to use microsoft store then the next step is to use my library to download the game or application so on the top right on the microsoft store here you can see three dots click on it then click on my library and from the library you, you can go ahead and select your application or games and then in front of the app or games you will find the install option so from here you can go ahead and install your application now the next step is to clear store cache using ws reset command so go ahead and type in ws reset in windows search box and then click on ws reset you will see this black screen do not close this black screen this black screen will go away and it will open microsoft store so once the microsoft store is open you can go ahead and start using it now over here you can see the black screen is gone and it's opening microsoft store and now you can start using microsoft store still you are facing the problem in that case you can go ahead and update your windows for this go to the start menu click on settings then click on update and security and then click on check for update and once the update is installed restart your computer and then use microsoft store now the next step is to reset store app for this go to the start menu once again go, click on settings then click on apps and features so click on apps and then over here you can go ahead and type in store and you have to go ahead and find microsoft store in the list so you can go ahead and type in store over here and then click on microsoft store then click on advanced options scroll down here you can see the reset option click on reset again reset and after the reset you can go ahead and try to launch microsoft store now the next step is to restart windows update microsoft store install and background intelligence service for this go ahead and type in services in windows search box then click on services now find windows update in the list so scroll down here you can see windows update make sure startup type is set to automatic and click on apply now if start is highlighted click on, click on start and then click on ok now find microsoft store install service make a double click then make sure startup type is set to automatic then click on apply if start is highlighted click on start then click on ok and with this selected click on restart the service do the same thing with uh, windows update also so when you select windows update you can go ahead and click on restart the service now find background intelligent transfer service make a double click make sure startup type is set to automatic then click on apply click on start it if highlighted then click on ok with this selected click on again restart and after that you can go ahead and use to now the next step is to run this powershell command to re-register microsoft store for this copy this command the command is provided in the video description and make a right click on the start menu then click on windows powershell admin click on yes to allow and then paste the command over here and then hit the enter key and then you can go ahead and run this command to paste it over here hit the enter key and then you can start using microsoft store the next step is to uninstall and reinstall microsoft store for this copy this command all the commands are provided in the video description make a right click on the start menu then click on windows 
PowerShell admin, make sure that you're opening PowerShell as an admin. Click on yes to allow and then paste the command over here. Now, once you run this command, it will go ahead and uninstall Microsoft Store. So next time when you type in store over here, you might see Microsoft Store, you might not see Microsoft Store. So even if you click on Microsoft Store, it will not open. It has been uninstalled. Now, after this, you go ahead and restart your computer. And after the system restart, again, open PowerShell, make a right click and then click on Windows PowerShell Admin. And then you have, this time you have to run the second command, which will go ahead and reinstall Microsoft Store. So paste it over here, hit the enter key. And this time when you type in store over here, it might take a couple of seconds. So just type in store once again. And here you can see Microsoft Store and you can start using Microsoft Store. Now, the next step is to run DISM and SFC command. So just type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app, then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow and then run the first command over here. Paste it over here, hit the enter key. And once this scan is 100% complete, run the second scan. So once this is 100% complete, copy this command over uh, from here and then paste it over here, hit the enter key. And once the second scan is complete, restart your computer and then use Microsoft Store. The next step is to run inetcpl.cpl command. So in the search box, you can go ahead and type in inetcpl.cpl, then click on inetcpl.cpl. Go to the advanced tab and then scroll down. Over here, you can see use TLS 1.0, use TLS 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. Make sure all are checked. So make sure TLS 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3 is checked. Then click on apply. OK. And then use Microsoft Store. Now, in case if nothing is working, you can go ahead and update your Windows 10 using Media Creation Tool. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down. Over here, you can see download tool now. So click on download tool now, then run the exe file, then you will see this screen. So agree to the term. So click on accept and by default upgrade this PC now would be selected. Click on next and let the download complete. Now this process will take some time. And once the download is 100% complete. Now before the installation, you will see this screen which says ready to install. And by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked over here. Now, when this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer and then you can go ahead and click on install. And after the installation, you can go ahead and log into your computer and then your Microsoft Windows 10 should be up to date. And after the update, you can go ahead and try to use Microsoft Store and you should not be receiving any error message. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.